Hi guys, Sherry here from the Flex Giving Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a Divine Masculine reading for um, August the 23rd until the 30th. And I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I'm just going to be using my cards. Um, and I will be doing a Celtic Wing. Okay. Alright, so beginning with um, the masculine present position, four pentacles. So this is somebody who's closed off, um, who's not listening to anyone's advice or um, listening to anything that's in the external environment. Um, this could also represent holding on too tightly to something in the 3D reality. So, the masculine present moment, feeling guarded. Um, this could also be him not being influenced by anything external reality. Okay, so for the foundation, King of Cups, again, love in the masculine's past. So, uh, in the Twin Flame reading, the masculine got the Heart Chakra and the Lover's card. So that's beautiful that the King of Cups um, is showing up as a foundation. His heart is open. This is someone who loves very deeply. Um, so, yeah, it's unconditional love. So, there's a sense of him opening up, feeling love, and almost guarding himself in the present moment. Okay, so recent past, wow, third eye chakra. So the masculine got this um, in the present moment for the twin flame reading. Um, so using your intuition, um, your inner knowing in order to guide you. So there's the feeling of him making a decision that has to do with love. Um, and he's using his inner knowing in order to, you know, make decisions and move forward. Okay, so what do you desire and likely to get? Queen of Pentacles. So here we have the Divine Feminine represented um, as, a, you know, someone in the 3D. Someone you can hold, feel, touch, kiss, caress. Uh, this could also represent an earth sign, um, but I, I'm really feeling strongly that the masculine desires to make a connection with the feminine in the 3D. However, he's closed off at the moment. Um, so I'm actually going to pull it and I'll show the card for that. Can I have clarifier for the Four of Pentacles, please? Control. So again, somebody being closed off. So the King of Swords. That could be an, you know, represent air sign, but really I was asking for clarifier on the energy. Okay. There is a time and a place for control, but if we put it in charge of our lives, we end up totally rigid. The figure in, sorry, the figure is encased in the angles of a pyramid shapes that surround him. Light glitters and glints off his shiny surface, but does not penetrate. It's as if he is almost mummified inside the structure he's built up around himself. His fists are clenched and his stare is blank, almost blind. The lower part of his body beneath the table is knife point, a cutting edge that divides and separates. His world is ordered and perfect, but it is not alive. He cannot allow any spontaneity or vulnerability to enter it. The image of the King of Cloud reminds us to take a deep breath, loosen our neckties, and take it easy. If mistakes happen, it's okay. If things get a little out of hand, it's probably just what the doctor ordered. 
there is much, much more to life than being on top of things. Okay, so the masculine is really feeling guarded. Um, you know, also the king of swords is someone who makes decisions, but I'm really feeling like the masculine is kind of closing off. Um, and he's closing off emotionally from a situation which you'll be walking away from um, in the future. You know, so, yeah, it's almost like decision made. I want to move forward uh, with love, and I'm not going to allow anything to stop me. So, you know, because there's this self reflection here, there's this awareness um, that goes along with it. So, yeah, I strongly feel that he's not being influenced. Okay, so crossroads position, eight of wands. So again, um, communication in the near future. Uh, this was a repeated message in the Twin Flame reading that communication um, was coming in, truthful, honest, open communication. This is also Cupid's arrows, so messages of love. So either the masculine is going to express himself um, or communication is coming towards him. This card also represents manifestation, okay, so, you know, going within, knowing what you want, reaching for your inner truth, making your dreams a reality, and here we have manifestation of that, you know, being on the spiritual path, and because of that, everything works out, okay, so what are you resisting? The Ten of Pentacles, so... It seems to me like you are trying to manifest this Ten of Pentacles into your reality. Um, so this is a long-term goal. Um, this is retirement, that final resting place. But it's in your resisting position. So it's almost like you are closing yourself off. Like I said, as a protective mode, but how would that affect the Ten of Pentacles? I'm going to pull a clarifier for that as well. What do you mean by the Ten of Pentacles in the resistant position, Spirit? The Sun card again, innocence. He's resisting playfulness, innocence. Um, you know, and might be obvious that the masculine is uh, afraid to come into contact with the feminine in the 3D and so is shutting himself down possibly, closing himself off. So let's read the Sun card. It is always easier to stay where you are, but that's the whole problem. Okay. So, the old man in the card radiates a childlike delight in the world. There is a sense of grace surrounding him, as if he is at home with himself, with what life has brought. He seems to be having a playful communication with the praying mant mantis on his finger, as if the two of them are the greatest friends. The pink flowers cascading around him represent a time of letting go, relaxation, and sweetness. They are a response to his presence, a reflection of his own qualities, the innocence that comes from deep um, experience of life as a child, but not childish. The innocence of children is beautiful, but ignorant. It will be replaced with mistrust and doubt as the child grows and learns that the world cannot be, or can be a dangerous and threatening place. But the innocence of life lived fully has a quality of wisdom and acceptance of the ever-changing wonder of life. So again, this is in his resisting position. He's resisting allowing this Ten of Pentacles to manifest. You know, and again, it goes along with, you know, closing yourself off. Okay. All right, so. Um, I just want to kind of get this out of the way so you can see the rest of the cards. So, the internal environment, Page of Pentacles. 
So again, with Earth sign energy, however, this is um, the student, someone who plans for that long-term goal. Um, you know, so this could be taking on a new job, going back to school, um, studying, you know, gathering resources, wisdom, that kind of thing. So internally, he's looking towards the future. He knows what's right, and he's he's um, formulating plans. Um, however, he hasn't taken action, but there will be a sense of an accelerated motion in the future. So the 3D reality is very important to the masculine um, in the coming week. So, yeah, he wants to manifest this Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and he's working on it. So he's, he's resisting the Ten fully. And he's closing himself off as a result. So... You know, just be careful of your, your energy, guys, you know. Um, the twin flame reading, it, it seemed to me like there's a sense of, you know, the twins coming together um, in the chariot card, you know, and working together, making decisions about a common goal. So that's what I'm kind of really feeling here is to not close yourself up reach out to the masculine or to the feminine and tell her what you desire and you know don't fear that open yourself up and come together okay so external environment is the high priestess uh so the feminine goddess as a an outcome a final outcome and just back to the sun card that was the overall energy card it was the one that was at the bottom of the deck for the twin flame reading so this new beginning this new start this return to innocence um, you know, illumination, shining your light, um, was a theme on both sides for the twin flame. So here, the masculine is feeling the feminine energy, the high priestess. We got this intuitive um, card over here, the third eye, um, which is what the feminine uses when she listens to her intuition, her inner knowing. Okay, so the feminine often shows herself as the high priestess, to offer support, you know, saying, I'm not with you in the 3D, but I'm with you in the 5D. Okay, so she represents the masculine's truth. When he turns in, he feels love. Um, and then he starts to have visions about, you know, this manifesting in the 3D. However, there's a sense that he's fighting that, that feeling. Oh, come on. Uh, spend it. All right. So, um, the outcome for these three cards, Page of Wands, the Feminine got this. Um, I can't remember now. But it's good news, exciting news. It's an epiphany, a realization. Aha. Uh -huh. Very similar card to the Fool as well as the Sun you know, starting from zero, illumination, awareness, new adventure, new start, something that's in line with spirituality, wand. So this could also represent a fire sign. Um, so, you know, we got two pages here. Internally, uh, the page of swords, or sorry, the page of pentacles could represent communication in the 3D. He desires to communicate. He desires to have contact in the 3D. Um, and then as an outcome, there's a sense of that communication taking place or having communication coming in that's very exciting. Um, okay. So as a summary outcome, wow, King of Swords. So King of Swords twice. Now... As a summary for the reading, there's this overall feeling of the masculine being closed off with the King of Swords. Okay, that's what the universe expressly 
explicitly expressed in the when I read the card that there's he's you're being closed off and to open up so that's what the summary you know the reading this card is to open up okay um, but it's also mental clarity making a decision cutting away barriers speaking your truth okay so you need to speak you need to express yourself and the king of swords is one who detaches emotionally in order to make decisions wow the king of wands incredible so two you got three four kings here so this is all about yourself um which is awesome looking within turning within looking after yourself um so that was the message from the universe for the twin flame reading for the masculine was looking after yourself um, so the king of wands could be a fire sign but this is really the masculine stepping into his power his illumination you know fire passion um, this is someone who is unchained unleashed uh, you know charismatic the center of attention he leads revolutions right very fiery very passionate um, strong courageous energy you know a feeling so overall for um, the next week the masculine is opening up you must open up you must communicate um, you both desire the exact same thing. So, yeah, I feel communication is important. And like I said, the masculine is really finding its power. That's great. So I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck. Chariot again. So overall, the energy that will be surrounding you for the next week is movement forward. So this was the crowning card for the Twin Flames. So you desire movement forward. This is, you know, taking control of your life, pursuing things that make you happy, overcoming obstacles, using that surfboard to move yourself through the vortex. Uh, so yeah, um, emotions, excitement, and movement forward. So... All right, so let me pull one card from Miss and Mermaids, and I'll read that to you as a final message from the universe. Now, I'm definitely reading all of the, the kings as the masculine, all queens as feminine. I'm not seeing any, you know, interplay of many people. It's just different aspects of your personality. Stop wow seashell princess oh my god so this card made me ball a couple of times um and i believe the feminine got this in her reading last week so it's all about love for the masculine this week and opening up not closing yourself off okay so for whimsy's sake, I long to live down along the sea, a million miles of sand to walk alone, just you and me. The smell of sea salt in the air, a sea-sprung breeze of weather fair, each other's thoughts our only care, a life of living free. So that, again, goes along with the sun card, life of living free in the chariot as well. Just, you know, I live on the west coast, on Vancouver Island, and um, so... I smell the ocean all the time and you know it's it's such a beautiful fragrance um, you know and so I got a surfboard here so you know some go surfing enjoy life walk along the beach with your lover um, okay so perhaps a sunny sacred strand where skies are always blue a million pearls strung in my hair to show your love is true. The summer sun's forever hot. I found the one I've always sought. Everything else now matters not as long as I'm with you. Wow. Heart chakra. Okay, so a doughy-eyed princess adorned with 
the bounty of the sea daydreams to her heart's content. She is a romantic, a dreamer, who listens intently to her own desires and has the passion to pursue them. Go after your heart's desire. This is a dream stirring in your heart that needs attention. You have felt drawn to follow and nurture it, but you have, you're having trouble letting go of practical considerations. And that's just it. You're having trouble letting go of the 3D reality. Um, okay, so... Know, however, that while many people reach for the stars, only the passionate actually climb up and grab them. Look inside yourself and rediscover the dream that has been buried under the trappings of day-to-day -day consideration and obligation. Reimagine the ideal life you longed for in years past and write down the details. Put it down on paper and make a commitment to your younger self uh, to strive and dream once again. So again, you know, looking within yourself, you know, love, passion, and pursuing that, taking control and, and moving forward, you know, feeling that freedom. That's what it's all about. It's like, and then here, you know, writing it down, <laughs> right? Making a plan of action. And then here we've got that action, especially with the two kings. Okay, so I hope this made sense. Let me know if it resonates. I love reading your comments. All right, peace, guys.